another video. I know a lot of you guys are gaming channels and you know content creators. I want to make some cool gaming videos. So today I have a video on how to edit gaming videos using Filmora. So Filmora actually has uh, effects like pack just for gaming videos, so overlays and filters just to add that cool effect to your videos. They also have this for like many other um, you know genres of you know videos. Like Halloween a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on how to make a horror film look um, using the pack for Halloween. So that's really cool that they have different packs for different occasions. But yeah, I'm gonna get started with the video. But before, if you guys wanna check out my graphics store, a lot of people actually ask me to make them banners and stuff. If you want one, you can order one and I'll make it custom fit to you. So yeah, with that being said, let's just get into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. The first thing you wanna do is download the gamer effect pack. Just to make it clear, they do cost money, the effect packs that you can buy at their effect store, but there are a bunch of effects that they already provide the moment you download the software. But yeah, there's gonna be a link to the effects pack if you wanna check it out. I'll also be giving away a free effects pack if you guys want it. All you have to do is like this video and comment hashtag studentvan50k in the comment section and that's all. Make sure to follow me on Twitter so you know if you want. But yeah, the first thing you want to do is double click on the gamer effects pack. I just renamed it. It's not going to come like that, but it's going to open up. I already downloaded it, so I don't have to. You also have to make sure that you're running the latest version of Filmora or else they won't allow you to install the effects packs, but you just want to double click. And the good thing about Filmora is that it actually updates online like through like the cloud. It doesn't require you to download anything and set everything up again. It downloads all the content online, which is really good. So I'm running the latest version 7.8 and you want to press 16 to 9 aspect ratio and full feature mode. So once you've set up your gamer effect pack, you'll see it in all of these columns. So in music, there's right there 8-bit gamers and it just has some music. There's also text credits. And the thing about the text credits is there's actually like intro style things. There's also lower third custom titles. They have effect packs for like everything, every occasion, everything you could like think of, like even Halloween, they had one and their effects are animated. It's not just like a picture or anything. It actually moves and it's really cool that you can do this. There's also transitions, but not just like normal, like slides and stuff. There's also ones that like are actually directed towards games. So like this has a Pac-Man, there's like you know, you just look at it. It's just a lot of stuff that a lot of other video editors don't have. Some of the most popular and most expensive video editors don't don't provide these animated things. Like they don't provide overlays and text credits and like filters and stuff like that. Especially not ones for certain occasions like this one being a gaming. So what I'm gonna do here is put in my gameplay, and it's actually one from YouTube because I don't play games that often. So this is Rocket League gameplay, as you can see. And it kind of fits the theme of the 8-bit gamer. 8-bit gamer is more for, you know, like colorful games. And this has a lot of color in it, a lot of orange and stuff. So I thought it'd be a perfect match. I'm not saying you can't do this for Call of Duty, but there's just a lot more things targeted towards like funner, not funner, but like more cartoonish type. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into text slash credits. And I'm going to add an intro. It doesn't say intro, but I like to call it intro just because like just play this. If you play this, it'll look like an intro. Like it's animated, it fits the style of gaming. Like it just looks good. Like you can see like that stuff in the background, you know, resembling a PS4, or like controls and stuff. So like to edit that text right there, all you have to do is double click on the text. And then now you can like type in whatever you want. So Steven Van, and then you can center it. It'll snap into place once you're in position. So right there, there's also lower thirds, which is cool. So if you drag this here, and press play you can see that as well it like pops in it, it, it isn't just a picture it actually pops in it's animated which is really cool i just recently got uh animated lower thirds from db graphic who also made my intro so shout out to him now what i'm gonna do is add music so there's a bunch of them so i'm gonna add this one and just drag it in and we're gonna play it to see if it matches the theme So as you can hear, it sounds really upbeat and stuff. You can tell that it's a gaming video just off that. It's something you hear from like Super Mario or Street Fighter or something like that. So that's really cool that they incorporated some music as well as other sound effects. So like blast off, like bonus, like bounce, coin, explode. So you can use coin for like Mario, power up for like, I don't know, Mario, jump for, I don't know, Mario. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this and it's just great that they have so much like variety. 
Next thing is transitions. So transitions are also really cool. They have the normal ones, like I said, and also like custom ones, like I, I guess not custom, but really specific towards a game, an idea. So here's like Pac-Man. They call it Waka Waka, cause you know, it makes that sound Waka Waka. So as you can see, it transitions into the new uh, gameplay, I guess. And as you can see, so so the, the actual text like disappears and then it transitions into that and it looks really cool. That's something really unique that I haven't seen yet on any other video editor. I'm sure I think Camtasia has something similar to this where they have animated stuff. There's also now Sony Vegas templates, but this is more extensive and more in depth, like more variety than any other video editors I've ever used. Next thing is filters. So there's uh, right here, 8-bit game filter. There's only two, Pixelate and Pixelate 2. Just two different ones you can use, maybe for Minecraft or something like that. If you want to see how it looks like, you just like play from here. It's just pixelated, self-explanatory. So if you just play it, it's just like that. The next thing is the overlay. So the overlays, there's five of them. And so for winner, I guess for Mario again, squiggles, I'm not sure what that'd be used for. Uh, victory, I guess maybe if you're having a racing game. So let me add that right here. This is kind of a racing game. There's cars and stuff. But um, if you press play from here, like there's like, I don't know, it's just like colorful and stuff. There's also button masher. Maybe you want to play Tetris or something. And then what is this? Space debris, you're playing Star Wars or something really cool in space and you just want to like add a cool effect. And the last thing we have here is elements. So elements, there's 15 of them. And as you can see here, you might think it's just like a picture, but they're actually not. So you can actually make an intro out of this. So what I like about this is if you play it, it's actually animated. I love animated stuff. You don't have to go in After Effects and make it yourself. Instead, you can use the templates that they provide and edit the text and stuff. So here, it actually moves. It looks really cool. If you do Pixel Nova, you just press play right there. It looks cool. You can use this. You can incorporate it into your videos. It's just a great look. Even with the price tag of like, I believe $15 for an effects pack, the video editor itself is only $50. And compare that to any other video editor, that's actually really cheap. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I just found it really helpful that you can add these cool effects with Filmora and the effects packs they have. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.